Mm -hmm. The small one? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. This is perfect. Perfect. It's nice. Allez coco, allez coco, allez coco, dis-le. Allez coco, allez coco, il en a même plus. Allez coco, allez coco, allez coco, dis-le. Allez coco, allez coco, il en a même plus. C'est une nice song, because the crocodiles are protected. <laughs> so, all the time, it's better to remember the people. Don't hit them. Hopla. Super. Okay, there's this hole here and I was pulling out my sampling and then I stepped into the hole because I thought yeah it's going to be fine but then I got stuck in in the mud like this so now my shoe is full with water. Alright, today I want to make a water filter for this water here. As you can see the water is a little bit murky and brownish. So I want to construct a simple water filter with this plastic bottle here. And as filter material I'm going to take some leftover charcoal from yesterday's fire. So first I'm cutting off the cup. And I'm going to close the lid again. Or first I'm going to make a hole into the lid. Just a small one. Like that. Close it again. Make two holes in the bottle so I can hang it. This is going to be the tripod, very simple. Okay, now I just hang this bottle upside down on the tripod. Okay, that's it. Next we need the charcoal from the fire. I try not to use the ashes because the ashes they are actually a lie and you don't want to have that in your water too much. So I'm just taking the really black, you know, burnt wooden pieces. And now I just crumple up the charcoal and put it into the water bottle. I almost forgot to fill some moss in the cap because otherwise the small charcoal dust will come out into the water too. So now I'm opening the cap again and put in the moss. Okay, I need more charcoal. All right, now I'm setting my cup underneath the water bottle, like this. And with the other cup from the plastic bottle, I'm going to fetch some water. As you can see, the water is a little bit murky, so it's not crystal clear. 
and now I'm going to fill it into the water bottle but you really have to take care that you don't contaminate the cup at the bottom so I'm going to fill it in the bottle like so in an angle all right so the first few times the water is still going to be blackish from the charcoal that's okay because the filter needs a little bit of you know time to sit so now we are going to pour uh, a couple of more cups in there and then the charcoal will clear out over the time. All right, now it's time to build the roof of our shelter. We have cut down some sticks already, which we now gonna use for the frame. We put another one here. In the jungle, always let the machete like this, it's safe. Mm -hmm. So for the shelter we are going to use these palm fronts and I want to split them and then put it onto the shelter with the same direction. Because now it's you know, going into this direction and then the leaves are going into the other direction as well and that's actually not good for the shelter. Now we take it like that and the other side like this and then you can put it on the shelter like so. That's much better. So this is the fruit from the palm tree. Yeah, people use it here to make soup and it's really good. And you can use it for many dish, dishes. For this you have to cook it like half an hour then just take it, take the skin, and you can make oil with it, yeah, palm oil. This is palm oil? Yeah. Oh, okay. People hit it by animals too, like black mamba, they love it. So that means if you come here in the night, maybe you can catch some. <laughs> black mamba? Yes. Okay. <laughs> they love it. A couple of ants bit us pretty badly, so I have biting wounds all over my body and here in the jungle it really hurts, like if an ant bites yeah. you it's really like, oh, it's really <laughs> painful. Uh, yeah. So show me yours, like. <laughs> me too. Now, it's a little bit red. Next step is that we are lashing the palm fronts to the shelter. There are a lot of ants in the palm front and they are biting us to death. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Alright, so we somewhat finished the roof of the shelter. It's not 100% watertight and there are a couple of gaps and holes. But for the day it's okay and we are in the dry season so we are not expecting rain. And if you want to really make this waterproof, you need like three times the amount of palm fronds that we used. But otherwise, it looks pretty awesome. Oh yeah. 
All right, so in the meantime, our water has gone through the filter and now it looks much clearer. And yeah, it's still a little bit tainted, but that's okay. And yeah, I didn't have too much charcoal. So if you put more charcoal into the plastic container, into the plastic bottle, then the end result would have been much better. Now, as we have finished the shelter, we will try some fishing again and then boil the water, sanitize the water and cook up some fish. Here in the tropics it's pretty difficult to make a fire. Um, most of the wood is always a little bit wet because of the humidity. And yeah, I've never taken so long to build a fire. So you need a lot of patience and a lot of small sticks. Yeah, so this is one of the insects in the tropical forest. He's getting the blood from the people and he can hit a lot of blood if you don't make attention. We didn't have any luck with the fishing yet, so now I'm going to cook off my water. Yeah, Julian, so unfortunately we didn't get any fish. Well, you got two, but they were too small. Yeah, were well, too small, yeah. And I got yeah. a really big one, yeah. uh, but I lost it, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. So that was my mistake. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah. all we have left is this water here. <laughs> Baby, you are not lucky. Ah, mm. it's not tasting too yeah. bad. Try it. No, I think I'm thirsty. Mm -hmm. So we want to thank you for watching. This was part two of building a shelter in the African jungle. And yeah, next time we are going to build another shelter somewhere else. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I think you fished all of the fish yesterday. <laughs> yesterday we had <laughs> six fish and today, yeah, not so many anymore. So we are going to change the location. Yeah, yeah anyway, we want to thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time. Bye-bye.